Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel show out. Breaking news extravaganza, the young and the restless unveils explosive secrets and passionate betrayals. In Genoa City, drama reaches its boiling point as Nikki and Jack clash over Diane, while Billy faces off against Adam over a mysterious Baltimore connection. Meanwhile, Sharon stuns Nick with an unexpected twist in their relationship, sending shockwaves through the community. Adam spins a web of deception with a fabricated story for Sally, raising questions about his true intentions. Claire and Kyle share a private moment in Paris, but Kyle's passionate adventure takes a scandalous turn with Audra. Amidst the chaos, Abby grapples with Devon's probing question, Victoria grows suspicious of Adam's motives, and wedding bells ring as Abby plans her nuptials. As tensions escalate, Billy and Jack join forces in a revenge plot against Adam and Victor, while Diane's brewing wicked plans threaten to unravel Jack's world. Sharon faces another emotional meltdown, Victor shakes things up, and Sally intensifies pressure on Adam. In a teaser for what's to come, Michelle Stafford hints at Phyllis's upcoming storyline, promising more intrigue that even her co-workers can't resist. Meanwhile, Summer's ruthless move gets Audra fired and presents Victor with an offer he can't refuse. Stay tuned as Genoa City heats up with passion, betrayal, and secrets that will leave everyone on edge. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. While Jack and Nikki argue over Diane, Billy confronts Adam about Baltimore. On this episode of The Young and the Restless, Jack and Nikki argue, Lucy lies to her parents, and Phyllis meddles in Daniel's private life. Phyllis asks Heather at Society if everyone is ready to travel to Portugal. The vacation is cancelled, according to Heather. Phyllis queries the situation. Is there a problem between Daniel and you? She thinks it's strange that they would abruptly cancel such a significant trip. According to Heather, it's not unusual, it occurs frequently. It's strange that she would assume that she and Daniel are having issues right away. She tells Phyllis they're okay, and accuses her of inquiring into their personal life. Phyllis has been their strongest supporter and truly wants them to succeed. She is asked to quit poking and prodding by Heather. Daniel has lost everything, and Phyllis is worried. That was the previous instance of his spiraling. Heather had the same idea, but he's changed significantly since then. This time, he won't crumble since he is grounded. Phyllis queries if she will stay with him this time or walk away like she did the last time it happened. Lucy gushes to Daniel in crimson lights over the dress she's wearing to Faith's party tonight. Daniel believes that since her mother is unhappy about the trip to Portugal, they ought to do something extra special for her. Lucy is in, but not this evening. The celebration is really significant. Lucy runs up to Faith and her companion as soon as they enter. Faith replies to Lucy, I hate to disappoint you, but it's not going to work out, when she asks if she's riding with them to the pool party tonight. Faith tells Lucy as they make their way to the patio that her buddy who is hosting the party has booked out the entire space, so there is booze and a tight head count policy. The audience will be older. After realizing it, Lucy suggests she might come along the next time. Faith tells her friend that she hates having to do that as she leaves. Lucy returns to Daniel and tells him the party is on and she can't wait, to which the buddy responds, that was extra. Jack approaches Nikki as she walks into the club to inquire about her well-being. The outpatient treatment, according to her, is going really well. Jack asks if Victor is meeting since he wants to sit down and catch up. Nikki denies that he is, but even if he were, he wouldn't be able to choose who her pals are. Jack wants to talk to her about something. Nikki informs Jack that Adam is temporarily covering for her at Newman Media as they are sitting together. She believes there's more to it, but Victor claims it's because she needs time to heal. 
She is concerned about the business. Jack doesn't think Adam is trying to ruin things. He wonders why she didn't engage in more combat. Nikki acknowledges that she was craving alcohol more than ever due to the stress of the battle. Nikki acknowledges that nothing is worth sacrificing her sobriety for, and she has been worried that Kyle's circumstances could encourage him to relapse into drug use. While Jack reassures her that everything is well, he becomes enraged by the growing hostility between Diane and Kyle, who is moving out and taking charge at Glissade with Audra Charles. So, it's just you and Diane in charge at Jabot, scowls Nikki. Did she not have the notion to fire Kyle? What are you getting at now? Jack queries Nikki is merely attempting to comprehend Kyle's perspective. Jack lashes out at Kyle for pushing Diane past her breaking point while defending his wife. Nikki finds it intriguing that Diane now has everything she desired when she initially returned to the area. Billy approaches Sally in the park and inquires about her well-being. Sally claims that she was only considering her new line for younger customers and her job. Billy observes that she doesn't appear thrilled. Is she concerned about anything else? Sally admits that she had a disagreement with Adam this morning on his return to overseeing Newman Media. Billy believes it could work out well for him. Sally says it depends on Victor's current activities. She muses that this could be the reason Adam has been acting a little tense recently. Billy says following Victor's lead will do that. Sally claims he reassured her that she needed not worry and reminded her that he had previously handled Victor. She says they worked things out. Billy believes she is carrying additional weight. Sally's only concern is Adam in general. She expected the news about Connor to calm him down, not increase it. Billy confides that Chelsea told him she couldn't do this anymore and hinted at making mistakes while they were together before. She excused herself and walked away. Billy wonders whether things aren't going as well as they say, or if they don't want them to know what truly happened in Baltimore. Sally responds, so you're worried too. Chelsea blurts out that she almost told Billy everything when she runs into Adam at Newman Media. Adam is relieved to learn that she began to tell him but stopped. She's passionate about it and a complete mess. Billy almost broke her when he gave her a pep talk and complimented her on how well she was handling everything. She wanted to tell him what had happened and why. Adam cautions that it might ruin everything for them. Chelsea hasn't given anything else any thought. That's what made her stop. Keeping this from Sally, Adam claims, is killing him too. There was a lapse in their judgment. Human beings. Chelsea concurs, saying, that night we both needed comfort, the pain was excruciating. Is losing Billy really what she wants? Adam asks. Chelsea is concerned that the next time, she might not be able to stop herself, given how close she was to telling Billy the first time. She can't get the guilt out of her system. Adam claims that this is more than just her. He'd prefer not to lose Sally. Chelsea screams that Billy would understand if she just gives him some explanation. Adam lacks her faith in Billy's empathy and understanding, particularly when it comes to him. What if Connor's advancement is jeopardized or he stumbles as a result of revealing this secret? What if he discovers that his experiences led to the breakup of their relationship as well? He would hold himself accountable. Sally approaches Billy in the park and inquires as to whether he believes Adam and Chelsea would prefer that they remain unaware of their meeting with Connor. Billy believes that a change has occurred. It might just be stress, but there's a cause. Sally surmises that he believes Adam is to blame. Billy has no idea what's going on, but he has a gut feeling that it's Adam. Chelsea is deteriorating rapidly. Perhaps it was Adam, or perhaps it was Connor. They have to find out, whatever it is. They can only really be present for them in that way. 
Heather informs Phyllis at Society that she didn't give up on Daniel at the first indication of weakness when she was in Savannah. Despite her best efforts, nothing seemed to work. She had at her breaking point, but Lucy made her leave. Heather could see the effects of her father's decline on her. Phyllis comprehends. She worries that she won't see the indicators the way she did the last time. Heather is now aware of the symptoms. Daniels will know immediately if she begins to follow that route. She knows now how to handle it differently, saying, I love him. Daniel and Lucy enter, and she feels that Phyllis should have a little more faith in her son and in me. What's going on here, Daniel wonders? They're merely talking about their future, according to Phyllis. Lucy wants to go get ready for the pool party since she thinks it sounds like an adult conversation. She is told by Daniel and Heather to abstain from alcohol, drugs, and bad boyfriends. Lucy is capable of managing herself. All they want to know is that she is not overextending herself. Lucy nods off and walks away. She sighs outside. Jack queries Nikki at the club about if Diane is still hinting at a covert Abbott agenda. Nikki is merely stating that everything she desired came to her really easily. She returned to re-establish contact with Kyle, according to Jack. So why did she fire him, asks Nikki. Nikki believes he is taking more from what she said, but he doesn't think so. Jack becomes enraged and exclaims, I think this conversation is over. Refusing to trust Diane, Nikki says, and I don't know if I ever will. Billy wants to talk to Adam about Chelsea, so he knocks on his office door. He hopes Adam can help him figure out what's wrong with her. From the time they returned from Baltimore, something has changed. He's hoping Adam can throw some light on Chelsea's refusal to talk. Sally notices Chelsea working on the patio of the coffee shop. Sally requests that they speak. Did something unfortunate occur in Baltimore when Adam and you were there? Something that you've kept from Billy and me, Chelsea claims Connor injured himself after being admitted as an inpatient. Sally is aware of that, Adam has just been tense recently. This morning, they actually got into a brief argument. Has Adam done anything to aggravate you? Chelsea reassures her that he really can't talk to what's bothering him and that he didn't. After that, she quickly takes her belongings and exits the building. Billy informs Adam at his office that he is aware of how traumatizing Chelsea and he are going through. They were quite agitated when they returned. Adam claims that they were very distraught and insane with anxiety. Billy inquires as to if he thinks he's improving. Billy responds, it's okay, Adam. I have to. Chelsea agrees, so why is she still acting so irrationally and blaming herself for her mistakes? Adam is unsure. Billy can't help but feel that he offended her in some way. Jack is furious at the club because Nikki still won't allow Diane any space. Each of them has done things in the past that they regret. According to Nikki, some things are worse than others. Jack had hoped that his closest friend would be able to control her suspicions about his wife, but it's obvious that she can't. He rushes off, tossing down his napkin. Daniel senses something more going on in this chat between Phyllis and Heather at Society. He is aware of his mother's tendency to meddle. According to Heather, Phyllis fears that if he becomes depressed over Omega Sphere, she will leave him. Phyllis claims that all she was doing was being a loving, worried mother. Daniel promises that he won't crumble. He is not going to jeopardize his family again. He is able to start a new company. Heather promises to stand by his side no matter where that route leads him. Daniel orders Phyllis to stop interfering. Let us just go about our lives. Jack smacks his briefcase against the wall of his Shabo office. He is followed by Nikki, who begs him to listen to her. She did not want to cause them to become tense. 
she reminds him that they agreed to be truthful with one another at all times. She has only attempted to be polite to Diane out of concern for him and lack of trust in her. Jack queries why Diane's master plan to seize power would include losing her son. Is she genuinely of the opinion that he wouldn't discover Diane's massively covert agenda? Nikki has only good intentions for him. He is deserving of happiness indefinitely. After saying that, she leaves. Adam admits to Billy at his office that he and Chelsea actually got into a fight in Baltimore. He acted like an idiot and lashed out. Billy is not taken aback. Adam claims that when they were inebriated, Chelsea was in direct danger. He regrets saying a few things. Billy queries how he manages that in light of her past. Adam calls what he and Chelsea are going through torture and continues, I could strangle you right now, but instead I will say thank you for being honest with me. Billy is aware of the elevated feelings that arise when a youngster is involved. He and Victoria were torn apart by Delia's death. He will always be sorry that they weren't able to rely on one another. Adam is fortunate to have Sally in his life, but he will require all the help he can get, he cautions Adam. Sally stands in the doorway as Billy leaves, asking, What is it, Adam? What isn't right? Chelsea had to sit down on the park bench after she begins to hyperventilate in the park. The next update for today. Sharon gives Nick a seductive kiss as Adam pretends to be Sally's friend. As he used to get his finest ideas during putting practice, Billy Abbott will give Lily Winters a golf putter as a gift, according to the Young and the Restless previews for Tuesday, July 23rd. Billy will apologize for accusing Lily of trying to betray him once they get something straight in the office. Lily will believe that she is where she is supposed to be because Billy will make her feel that way. Adam Newman will eventually acknowledge that it's about Chelsea Lawson and a horrible error he committed, but not before Sally Spectra at Newman Media keeps attempting to figure out what he's hiding. Adam will make up a story about how he became angry with Chelsea and said that she was to blame for Connor Newman's problems. Since Chelsea didn't even bring it up previously, Sally won't believe that she has anything against Adam. Adam would claim that Chelsea is a better person than he is and that's why, adding that he told Billy the truth about what had happened. Sally will accept Adam's apology for pushing her away after he has finished. But when Sally presses for additional information, Adam will cut her off and decide it's best to ignore it. Before leaving for a meeting, Sally will reassure Adam that everything is well, but as she walks away, she will still appear thoughtful. Mariah Copeland will text Sharon Newman at the cottage, inquiring as to whether she is headed back to the office. Sharon has a meeting that she obviously forgot about, but as soon as Nick Newman shows up, she will start to lose interest once more. Nick will be concerned about Sharon's outburst at Phyllis Summers and want to chat to her about what's going on with her. Nick will worry since it has been going on for a time but Sharon will reassure him that she has been managing some medication modifications. Sharon will, however, pretend that her doctor is monitoring the situation and will anticipate everything returning to normal shortly. Upon contemplating the Cassie Newman recollections that have just resurfaced for her, Sharon will also see that Phyllis has a knack for manipulating her emotions. When Sharon thinks back on the storms she and Nick have experienced, she'll say that Hurricane Phyllis has been a major factor in nearly all of them. Regarding Nick, Sharon will be grateful for his concern, but she will persist in her efforts to minimize her problematic actions. Sharon will see Nick coming home after being called to Newman Enterprises and dragging her into a passionate kiss. Victor Newman will summon Adam and Nick in for a family meeting since Nikki and Victoria Newman will not stop pressuring him to divulge his long-term plans in his office. Victor will soon make it known that he wants Nikki to take over a business he is buying, which is nearly as large as Newman Enterprises, while Adam stays on staff at Newman Media. Victor will assert that Nikki is well-versed in the industry, despite her disapproval of her taking over it. 
He believes Catherine Chancellor is applauding this action. Victor will say, you are about to take control of Chancellor Industries, in this Tuesday's episode of YNR. Keep checking back for updates on any other corporate curveballs, as the spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Victor's announcement will give Nikki a plenty to think about. The next update for today. Claire and Kyle's private Paris moment, Victoria's doubts and Abby's wedding plans. According to spoilers for the upcoming two weeks of The Young and the Restless, July 22nd to August 2nd, Adam Newman will fabricate a story to divert Billy Abbott's attention. The week of July 22nd to 26th will put Adam in a difficult situation and force him to give unreliable news. Adam would lie and say that he blew up at Chelsea Lawson, accusing her of being the reason behind Connor Newman's problems, knowing that Billy and Sally Spectra will start to suspect what actually happened in Baltimore. In actuality, Adam and Chelsea had a sexual encounter, but he will try to put an end to any discussion about Baltimore by fabricating a tale that portrays him as the only villain. But when Sally starts probing him and maybe starts to wonder if he was as bigoted as he says he was, Adam will falter a little. Adam will be coerced into telling the truth by Sally, and he will almost certainly confess before backing down. There will be a hiccup in their friendship with Jack Abbott and Nikki Newman. Jack won't put up with Nikki's derogatory remarks about Diane Jenkins Abbott for too long. Victor Newman will later reveal a new strategy that will leave Adam in charge of Newman Media and place Nikki in charge of a business he is buying. Regarding the business Victor is attempting to acquire, it might be Abbott Chancellor. Victor seems to wish to pull Abbott Chancellor away from Billy Boy, given his pledge to protect Catherine Chancellor's legacy. After that, Victoria Newman will question Adam extensively in an effort to find out more about Victor's goals. Victoria will become increasingly concerned that returning to the family business was a mistake the more disorganized things at Newman Enterprises become. Devin Hamilton Winters will unexpectedly propose to Abby Newman Abbott in the park. Abby might agree to the surprise proposal because she will appear excited about it. Naturally, Devin will desire Victor's approval, which is possibly why, following his chat with Abby, he will go looking for Victor. According to other YNR rumors, Sharon's mental health will worsen, so Nick Newman will worry that if her doctor is unable to help her get control, something terrible may occur. Lucy Romilotti may be ready to make some horrible choices because she will find it difficult to go over Faith Newman's rejection at the pool party. Tracy Abbott and Alan Lauren, meanwhile, are going to take a big step together, so they might make love for the first time and talk about their relationship status. Summer Newman, on the other hand, will argue with Kyle once more. Summer will make an effort to control Kyle, but he will not back down on this vacation to Paris with Harrison Abbott, Claire Grace, and Audra Charles. Harrison will give Summer a final hug in the park, but she will let Kyle and Claire know that she is not pleased about this. Claire will be forced into a challenging scenario by Kyle, but after their flight lands later, things might get better. There should be some Paris sequences around the week of July 29th to August 2nd, so Kyle might spend some time with Claire when Harrison is sleeping. Although Claire has never been in a romantic relationship and doesn't want to cross any boundaries because Kyle is her boss, boundaries could still be crossed. Will it be Claire and Kyle's first kiss? Stay tuned for more predictions on a possible lip lock and Claire's possible response, Paris seems like a really romantic spot to do that. Of course, there's always a potential that anything may go wrong while traveling, such as if Harrison is hurt or gets lost. That might set Summer off in a rage, where she would accuse Claire and Kyle of hiring her. Fans of YNR will probably get to see further developments with Lucy, so may she ever get behind the wheel after drinking? Could there be problems if Lucy's plot and Sharon's mental health issue intersect? Stay tuned for updates on all the mayhem as the following two weeks are sure to be exciting, according to spoilers for The Young and The Restless. The next update for today. Kyle's fervent journey across Paris, he kisses Claire, 
but does he sleep with Audra? According to previews for The Young and the Restless, as Kyle Abbott and Audra Charles travel to the City of Love to conduct business for Glissade, fireworks are set to burst forth in Paris. Naturally, Kyle is dragging Harrison Abbott and his nanny, Claire Grace, along for the voyage in an attempt to test Summer Newman's patience. Even though Summer is anxious about the three of them traveling to Paris and envious of Claire's relationship with her stepson, she understands that Audra poses a greater threat. In the past, there was a frequent hookup between Audra and Kyle. Nevertheless, because of their past with Glissade and the way Audra betrayed him to support Tucker McCall, there is still love between them. Having said that, fans are able to tell that there is still chemistry between them despite their respective dislike for one another. Given how closely they collaborate as Glissade's co-COS, it's difficult to avoid the notion that Kaudra and her will eventually get into bed together. Conversely, there appears to be some chemistry between Kyle and Claire. Although Claire and her boss are I just friends, she recently revealed to her mother Victoria Newman that she could feel more than just cordial with her employer. She also made it apparent that she doesn't want to do anything that may endanger Harrison or step over the line with her supervisor, which could jeopardize her job opportunity with Kyle. Which leads admirers to their journey to Paris. Kyle might schedule some time for Harrison even though he will be taking care of business. While on vacation, Kyle, Claire, and his son will undoubtedly engage in some enjoyable tourist activities, and Claire's relationship will persist. Could Claire and Kyle, engrossed in the romance of this city, end up kissing for the first time after Harrison is put to bed? Claire might back out before anything more occurs since, in addition to the fact that it is inappropriate to breach this boundary, she has never had a boyfriend and most likely has never had sex. When they return to GC, Kyle and Claire can determine that a kiss is just a kiss, for the time being and that Claire is not working. Alternatively, they can decide to leave it for now and gather their thoughts once they get home. After their kiss lock either will sense the beginnings of a new romance. As the journey goes on, Kyle might also become engrossed in an incident with Audra because fans are well aware that he is a player and doesn't always consider his options. Although she is currently seeing Nate Hastings, Sean Dominic, she has made it plain that she is not interested in getting married to her former co-worker. Kaudra will probably promise to keep it to themselves if they end up in bed. Because Audra values discretion, Kyle doesn't want Claire to know. Although Kyle finds it impossible to resist the allure of the bad girl Audra, he can't help but be drawn to the good girl Claire. Will he continue to see both ladies till he finds out? While Audra might brush it off, Claire believes that Kaudra's Paris session will ruin her. YNR spoilers hint that Claire, Kyle, and Audra's relationship will get heated, so viewers will have to stay tuned to find out what happens next. The next update for today. Devin asks a question, and Abby responds, Victoria suspects Adam. According to Wednesday, July 24 spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Nikki Newman will start to worry about Victor Newman's declaration that she will be taking over Chancellor Industries. Victor will act like there's no one better to continue Catherine Chancellor's legacy, even though Nikki might think it's a poor idea. Victor will try to calm Nikki's concerns about his impending takeover by assuring her that he has nothing but the best intentions. Adam Newman will be questioned by Victoria Newman regarding his knowledge of this matter. Adam may face accusations of conspiring with Victor and knowing he would always have the position of CEO of Newman Media indefinitely. Adam, though, would not sugarcoat the fact that he is equally taken aback by this information. Victoria will still be skeptical even though Victor didn't alert Adam about his Chancellor-related objectives. Of course, Adam hasn't been truthful about Victor pressuring him to pursue Chabot through Newman Media, but he believes he's managed the situation by staying away from smearing Jack Abbott. Nevertheless, it's likely that in the not-too-distant future, Victor will put some pressure on Adam to perform some things he finds unpleasant. 
Adam may have some difficulties ahead of him because Victor isn't happy unless he's pushing the boundaries of his kid's allegiance. In the upcoming Wednesday episode of YNR, Devin Hamilton Winters and Abby Newman Abbott will meander through a park before coming to a stop on a bench. That seems to be going to lead to a discussion regarding Devin and Abby's lives together as well as their love. Abby won't expect it when Devin finally blurts out a marriage proposal. When Devin pressures Abby to get married, she'll have to decide if she's prepared for such a big move. Thankfully, Abby and Devin have discussed the prospect of getting married in the future before. Devin and Abby have talked about being open to it, so it's likely that after Abby gets over her astonishment, she will agree. Keep checking back for updates on Victor's response to Devin's proposal, as our YNR forecasts indicate that he will be requesting Victor's approval shortly. According to previews for The Young and the Restless, if everything goes as Devin wishes, Abby and Devin might be the next couple to get married in Genoa City. The next update for today. Billy and Jack's retaliation story, brothers unite to take on Adam and Victor? Spoilers for the young and the restless suggest that additional turmoil in Genoa City could result from a dangerous cycle of retaliation. It's hardly surprising that Jack Abbott and Victor Newman's enmity has resurfaced because they have always maintained a precarious truce. Victor has been making some significant moves to force Jack to pay for passing out in Nikki Newman's apartment while high on drugs and alcohol. Victor doesn't care that Jack was ultimately the reason Nikki checked herself into a rehab facility and received the assistance she required. Maybe, deep down, Victor was just waiting for an excuse to rebel against Jack and cause problems once more. In any event, Victor is seeking retribution, nevertheless, YNR spoilers indicate that Jack may also seek revenge, particularly if Adam Newman is compelled to disparage Jack. Adam assured Victor that while he wouldn't take any action to harm Jack and his family, he might still deal some blows in the end. In addition, Adam will incite Billy Abbott's fury if the truth about what transpired in Baltimore is revealed. Billy will be enraged upon discovering the scandal involving Adam and Chelsea Lawson's adultery. Not only that, but Victor might be ready to pursue Abbott Chancellor. Billy might get upset also if Victor manages to seize control of the business in any way. With everything planned, it's not difficult to picture Jack and Billy working together to maintain the cycle of retaliation. Seeing the Abbott brothers take on the father-son team from Newman would be entertaining. Naturally, Kyle Abbott wants to use his present glissade gig as a means of revenge against Jack and Diane Jenkins Abbott, but after Victor unavoidably betrays him, that may alter. Kyle is likely to discover the hard way that, in Victor's eyes, anyone without the Newman last name is unnecessary, especially if that person's last name is Abbott. If Kyle makes a move that angers Victor or he is done using him as a pawn, Victor can discard him like garbage. Sooner or later, Kyle might join Jack and Billy in their possible alliance, so stay tuned for more predictions on all the revenge stories that lie ahead. Keep checking back for updates on all the amazing news and developing drama. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, the newest Abbott Newman battle will bring some surprises. The next update for today. Is Jack's wife still withholding secrets and Diane preparing for a wicked turn? According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Jack Abbott willfully attacks Nikki Newman, who will later admit that she still doesn't and probably never will trust Diane Jenkins Abbott. Nikki will perceive Diane's firing of Kyle Abbott as odd in the episode airing on July 22 and will assume that Diane has been plotting since the beginning of her comeback. Nikki would say Diane is reaching her ambitions now that she has Jack as her spouse and is the co-CEO of Chabot. There will be a major gap in their friendship as a result of Jack becoming enraged with Nikki for acting like Diane is a gold-digging manipulator. Naturally, Jack would bring up the fact that Diane isn't getting the one thing she really desired, which was a genuine bond with her kid. At this point, Kyle has become antagonistic toward Diane, but perhaps she is just changing her priorities. 
The theme of Diane being an unreliable person is being revisited in the episode, casting doubt on her true nature. We need to think about where YNR might be taking this and how it might affect Jack and his marriage. Is Diane about to take a terrible turn? Does Jack's spouse continue to withhold secrets from him? The program has lost two schemers, with Tucker McCall hiding away and Jordan serving a prison sentence. That might cause Diane to rewrite something so that her cunning side is more prominent. Diane is undeniably more intriguing when she's working on a project, after all. Perhaps this is Diane's chance to stir up some commotion and prove all the doubters wrong. We don't think Jack is fully aware of Diane's previous life in Los Angeles as Taylor Jensen. Diane might be concealing more secrets from which she would go to great lengths to keep them hidden. It's also likely that Nikki is correct and that Jack's actions rather than genuine love are what drive Diane and Jack's marriage. If Jack realizes it, it can lead to rage, destruction, and divorce. In any case, Diane might find herself in some difficult circumstances in the upcoming weeks. Stay tuned to see if we have any predictions about whether or not this will cause her to lose it. According to Y&R teasers, Diane may be undergoing some character changes. If she returns to her troublemaking ways, Jack may be in for some bad news. The next update for today. Victor's reaction, Sharon's next meltdown, and Sally's pressure on Adam. Nick Newman will have a lot to worry about as Sharon Newman will continue to snap and change her mood at any time, according to the Young and the Restless spoilers for Tuesday, July 23rd. Fans of YNR are aware that Sharon hasn't been acting like herself in a while, in part due to her completely unbalanced medications and in part to all the Cassie Newman flashbacks. Sharon's doctor has been attempting to determine the appropriate dosage for her, but it is evident from her erratic emotions that this isn't working just yet. Naturally, Nick is beginning to worry that Sharon's mental health issue might not be as serious as it first appears. It's possible that Sharon stopped taking her medications in secret or that there's a side effect at play here. In either scenario, Nick will want to assist Sharon in getting things back on track but he won't be able to do so easily. At some time, Sharon will undoubtedly throw another tantrum, and Nick won't know quite how to manage it. He will confront Sally Spectra's pressure at Adam Newman's office and think about acting honorably. Adam will be so overcome with fear and remorse that he will almost immediately confess to adultery. However, Adam is aware that a betrayal like that would most likely result in no redemption. When Adam finally wakes up, he'll probably tell Billy Abbott the same tale he told him and that he was mean to Chelsea Lawson in Maryland. Adam clearly believes that lying about a significant meltdown and making it appear as though there was more to the big Baltimore secret than just hitting the sheets will make things better. Sally might be dubious and insist on further information, but Adam might be spared by Victor Newman's call because his father's office is about to host a meeting. Victor will provide information there regarding another potential reorganization that would place Adam in command of Newman Media and Nikki Newman in charge of a significant business he is attempting to acquire. Victor will spin it as fantastic news that benefits everyone, but Nikki might not be so sure. Given that Victor is probably going after Abbott Chancellor, Nikki might eventually protest to her husband's objective. Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Victor will contend that he is the wisest person, but our guess is that Nikki will respond negatively. The next update for today. Michelle Stafford of Young and Restless teases Phyllis about her upcoming story, and even her co-worker is intrigued. Phyllis from Young and Restless deserves a tale of her own, and it looks like she could be getting one. Michelle Stafford teased her alter ego's next move on social media, leaving a star of bold and beautiful and one of her co-workers fascinated by the intriguing hint. As it turns out, Phyllis is back to her old tricks, and we couldn't be happier about it. On Young and Restless, a well-mannered Phyllis is a dull Phyllis, and that should never happen. Naturally, we knew that she had to keep quiet after pretending to be dead and upsetting her children 
but how nice has it been to watch her question Nick about Sharon's peculiar conduct or join Summer in her opposition to Audrey. Phyllis informed Summer that they must get rid of Audra. Indeed, as Red got back into the old schemer's saddle to plan how to deal with the intruder and ride to her daughter's rescue, spectators could see the old wheels turning in her gorgeous mind. Is Phyllis planning to take a shot at Glissade's new co-CEO? Maybe this is the reference she's making in her light-hearted yet mysterious social media tease. However, Phyllis has also been hanging out with Nick and has personally witnessed the unsettling transformations in Sharon. I think you're going to like what's coming, Stafford teased her fans, implying that Phyllis and Nick will hook up. Would that upset Sharon in her current state? One fan even said, if Phyllis and Nick are together again, it's going to be awesome. Her tweet might have been a reference to a planned meeting with Sharon again, but based on the emoticons she used, it's unlikely to be a friendly one. Stafford punctuated her statements with three clown emoticons, indicating that Phyllis will undoubtedly be pulling her old tricks. The brief but impactful tweet, which saw her departing the CBS studios after the week of filming was over, even piqued the interest of her co-star Lily Brooks O'Brien, who expressed her surprise in the comments section. Maybe she's aware of the hint, maybe not. The next update for today. Gold digger Diane is accused by Nikki, and Jack loses his mind. According to The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Monday, July 22, Lucy Romilotti's delight will be dashed when Faith Newman decides not to invite her to the forthcoming pool party. Faith will point out that the audience will be older and there will be a precise head count. Faith will probably feel that it's best if Lucy doesn't come after all because there will undoubtedly be alcohol present. Lucy will, however, pretend that everything is all right and lie to Daniel Romilotti about being invited to the party as scheduled. Phyllis Summers will question Heather Stevens about the botched trip to Portugal on Monday's episode of YNR. She also expresses concern that Heather may abandon Daniel if he descends into despair once more. When Heather realizes that Daniel isn't the same guy, she will encourage Phyllis to have faith in him and she will also believe that Phyllis ought to have faith in her. Daniel and Heather will encourage Lucy to abide by the rules, notably abstaining from drinking regardless of what other people are doing, as she will persist in appearing as though her party plans are going according to plan. Jack Abbott will be having coffee with Nikki Newman in the meantime, and she will agitate him by implying that Diane Jenkins Abbott is receiving everything she asked for when she first came back to the city. Nikki's suggestion that Diane is only with him because of her power-hungry, gold-digging tendencies would hurt Jack. Nikki will acknowledge that she doesn't trust Diane and probably never will, even though she won't want to offend Jack. Nikki will follow Jack back to his office after he stomps out and attempt to make amends. Jack will continue to believe that Nikki has stated her position clearly and that Diane's decision to fire Kyle Abbott was part of some grand scheme. When Chelsea Lawson claims that she nearly told Billy Abbott about the treachery, Adam Newman will be disturbed in his office. Chelsea will make the suggestion that perhaps Billy would be willing to keep what happened from Sally Spectra when Adam argues that his relationship is also in jeopardy. Adam gets a bad feeling about Billy, thus he won't imagine that he would be sympathetic to their mistake of cheating. Furthermore, in the aftermath, Connor Newman might learn more and blame himself for their broken relationships. Adam will highlight the significance of remaining silent about their hotel hookup because it might lead to Connor's setback. Billy will tell Sally in the park that once Adam and Chelsea got back from Baltimore, something changed. Billy believes that there is more going on with Connor or that Adam may have had some influence over events while they were there. Billy will next grill Adam, who will pull a fast one for the side that cheats by claiming he tore into Chelsea when they were furious and inebriated. Billy will become enraged and question how he could treat Chelsea in such a way, especially considering everything Chelsea has been through, when Adam makes it appear as though he blamed Chelsea during an outburst. Billy will be relieved to have the truth from Adam, at least he will believe it to be the truth, because Adam will be apologizing for the moment of weakness. 
Sally will question Chelsea at Crimson Lights on possible terrible events in Baltimore. Chelsea will run off to avoid being questioned, acting as though Connor's self-harm incident was already serious enough. Sally will see Adam staring into space as he recalls hitting the sheets with Chelsea and wonder what's wrong. We'll offer you additional predictions on all the drama that is exploding since the young and the restless spoilers indicate that Adam and Chelsea's secret will explode up later on. The next update for today. After Summer fires Audra, she extends an irresistible offer to Victor. Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Summer Newman insulted Audra Charles during a recent interaction with Phyllis Summers. Phyllis concurred that Audra resembled a snake and forecasted that she would eventually crawl back into Kyle Abbott's bed. Summer and Phyllis believe that since Audra and Kyle are working together once more, they will unavoidably combine business and pleasure. Phyllis and Summer felt that Audra was too close to Harrison Abbott and wondered how they were going to get rid of her. The easiest solution would be to see to it that Audra is let go from Glissade and removed from Kyle's sphere of influence. Summer may start by telling Victor Newman about her concerns and requesting his assistance to see if she could pull that off. Victor may be inclined to fire Audra in the summer, but he has strong preferences over which company is controlled by whom and when. Summer would probably need to sweeten the bargain on her end because Victor would undoubtedly find it difficult to fulfill her request. Summer has been employed by Jabot for a while at Marchetti but Victor still like it when his kids and grandkids work for the family company. What would happen if Summer offered to work for Newman Enterprises or even put herself forward to take Audra's place as Glissade? If Victor decides to fire Audra, Summer may agree to a bargain in which she leaves Marchetti and joins his business. Victor, who is well known to Y&R viewers, puts family first, therefore Summer may pressure him to fulfill her request while seeming as though she is capable of doing a greater job than Audra. In addition, Summer might advise Victor to exert pressure on Kyle regarding custody and threaten to fire him if he doesn't agree to a revised arrangement. If you don't let a man as strong as Victor to occasionally use his influence, what good is having him as your grandfather? Could Summer surprise Kyle by scheming her way into Glissade's position as co-CEO and also taking control of custody? Summer may decide she will stop at nothing to get rid of Audra and keep Harrison in her life, despite Victor's doubts about whether she would pursue Jabot in the manner he desires. Follow along for updates on Summer's potential depths of depravity as she may need to be inventive and go really low to achieve her goals. According to Young and the Restless Spoilers, Summer might go as far as necessary to save Harrison, which could be detrimental to Audra and Kyle. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.